In this video, we are going to be talking about how to prepare to do your very first tattoo. Maybe your mentor has told you it's time and you are nervous. Well, this is the video for you. I'm going to give you some tips to do to make your experience that little bit easier and that little bit better. So let's -a go. Now, if you are tattooing already, this video may not be for you. However, if you do have an apprentice or you are looking to get an apprentice, then you may want to stick around because you could use these tips to help get your apprentice through this very situation. Please make sure that you stick around for the final tip as it is the most important one. Now, the first tip would be, and I know it sounds obvious, but start small. You see so many incredible artists on fake skin doing like portraits these days and they are incredible. But what you need to understand is the differences between that fake skin and real skin. The process, although is technically the same, the reaction of the person, the skin, is just completely different. It's something that you've not dealt with before. What you don't want to be doing is biting off more than you can actually chew and then having to deal with that on a client. You are no longer on fake skin, you are on a client. That tattoo is on their skin for life. When it comes to doing your first tattoo, you are going to be nervous. And having an elaborate design is one thing that you don't want to be thinking about when you are that nervous. You need to be keeping it simple. Now, anyone that's actually got past this process of doing their first tattoo may comment on this video saying that they were not nervous, and that's absolutely fine. But there is gonna be apprentices out there that are gonna be super nervous, especially if you're working in a studio environment where you have somebody watching you. Maybe you have you know, maybe it's open plan and you've got five artists that work in that studio and they've all caught wind that you're going to do that tattoo and they are all going to be coming up, looking and making sure that you are doing everything the way that you should be. And it is super, super nerve wracking. Now, I know it's not elaborate, but it is still pretty popular. So I would always recommend doing tribal. Oh, God. Now, the reason I suggest tribal is because it does have lines, but you are also packing in. So if you do accidentally make a boo-boo of your lines, packing in will hide those mistakes. So I highly, highly recommend tribal to start for your very first tattoo. Which takes me on to the next tip of making mistakes. Don't use any liner smaller than a 10 gauge seven. If you are using any bug pins, if you are using five liners or three liners, you are gonna notice every bit of shake in that tattoo. And tying into the last tip, you are gonna be nervous, which is going to give you the shakes. So you are trying to minimalize that as much as possible. Doing your first tattoo is a massive moment and using nothing lower than a 10 gauge seven round liner is going to help. Tip number three would be to make sure that you are in a comfortable surrounding. Now again, you may have five, six, seven artists that work in your studio and it is all open plan. And every one of those artists, for the most part, at some point will probably come up to you while you are tattooing to have a quick neb and see what you are doing, which is going to pile on the pressure. Now, obviously you don't want to be adding that pressure. So my advice would be to ask all artists, apart from your mentor, to stay aware, to respect your decision to not come up and have a peek, especially not come up in groups. And, and have a peek and start, you know, all inputting. All you need to do is tell them that you are very nervous about the tattoo and you would appreciate it if they did not come over and watch you do it. The only person you want there is your mentor. And the artist should respect that because they have been in that situation. They know that the more eyes that's on them, 
the more pressure there is. So they should respect that. Tip number four is do not do your first tattoo on someone that you do not know. Get yourself a family member, mum, dad, brother, sister, or a friend. That way you already have that connection formed. The person that you are tattooing knows that this is your first tattoo. You know that they know it's your first tattoo and that will make you more comfortable. The person that you are tattooing also understands that this is your first tattoo. This is not gonna be your best tattoo. What also happens in this situation is that because you have that connection formed, it is so easy to strike a conversation. And what a conversation will do is put your mind at ease about the task that you are doing because it's giving you something else to think about rather than you overthinking the process of what you are doing. Now on to tip number five, and again, it is quite an obvious one, but tattoo somewhere easy and flat and do not take up any prime real estate. You do not want to be tattooing a forearm dead center, for example, because that is prime real estate for any future tattoos that you may want to do. So when I say tattoo somewhere easy and flat, I do not mean somebody's stomach. Even professional artists that have been doing it for decades still struggle to tattoo stomachs. The ideal place to tattoo somebody for your first tattoo, in my opinion, would be just above the ankle, keeping it nice and small. On to tip number six, that being do not overthink the process. Too many times I have seen apprentices go to set up for that tattoo and they are setting up so slow and they are doing everything at a snail's pace because they are psyching themselves up or psyching themselves out by overthinking the process of what you are about to do. You cannot let it get into your head. I know it is a lot harder and it is a lot easier said than done. However, you just need to jump. The longer you think about something, the longer you spend setting up, going to the toilet, getting a drink before you do the tattoo, the longer you keep putting it off, the harder and harder it's going to be. You've just got to jump. Tip number seven would be to use the same machine that you have been using on fake skin. Now is not the time to be using a brand new machine or a machine that you have not used before. With the machine that you have been using on fake skin, you already have down the voltage you need to use to line, the voltage that you need to use to pack, how the machine is feeling, the ergonomics of the machine basically. All this makes a difference in the tattoo and you don't want to be putting something foreign in your hands, which again is adding more things to think about when you are doing your first tattoo. You need that familiar feeling to keep you in that comfort zone. Now onto my next tip, that being tip number eight, and that being let your stencil dry. Now a stencil usually takes around 10 minutes to fully dry. Give that stencil 15 minutes, give it 20 minutes if needed. Just let your stencil dry. You do not want to be mid tattoo and then you give one wipe and your entire stencil is gone. Trust me, again, I have had this happen when I was like five, six years deep in and it definitely does give you a sweaty top lip. So it's one thing that you do not want to be happening. Now, some people's skin does not hold stencil well, no matter how much you let it dry. And to check this, all you will need to do is pull one line, wipe the line and see if the stencil comes away. If that happens, you need to line in the entire tattoo that you are doing and then you need to dab gently on top. Do not wipe until you have lined in everything. That way you will preserve your stencil that little bit better. But let your stencil dry and in most cases, you will be fine. Tip number nine, before you tattoo anyone, 
make sure you have tattooed yourself. Tattooing yourself prior to tattooing your client will show you the differences between tattooing fake skin and tattooing skin. So when you go to tattoo skin again, you know, you are a little more familiar. But not only that, tattooing yourself will give you more of an understanding of how your tattoos are going to heal and also age. You know, that tattoo is on you for life. So you get to see it every day over the years and see how tattoos are aging. So the further you get in on your career, you understand the little nuances of what can and can't be done when it comes to tattooing, because you can just look, refer back to your leg and be like, oh, I shouldn't do that. Look what it's done to my leg. You get it? Okay, so tattoo yourself. Now the 10th and final tip and the most important tip, if you have done all the steps up until now and you still do not feel ready to do the tattoo then you do not need to do the tattoo even if your mentor tells you that you are ready if you yourself do not feel ready to be tattooing then do not tattoo you are playing with people's lives and this game is extremely serious so you need to take it seriously and if you are not ready then you should not be doing the tattoo you need to feel ready in yourself no matter the mentor no matter the client it's down to you and you alone this is your process now i just want to give a quick bonus tip to the artists that work at home you may have gone through these tips and not experienced any one of them, but that is because you are completely engrossed in your surroundings. When you tattoo at home, you really are in your bubble of comfortability. However, if you progress to a studio, you may experience some of these things. And I just wanted to tell you that that is completely normal. As soon as you do your first tattoo and you bed in, you will be absolutely fine. But guys, I hope those 10 tips go towards helping you get through that pressurized moment of your very first tattoo. You will look back eventually and you will laugh, but it is all a learning experience and just try to enjoy the experience. You only get to do one first tattoo just enjoy it. If you are new around here, do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Do not forget to like this video and do not forget to turn on the bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. There is still a giveaway happening on the channel for a masked racer. You can find that video here. And if you want any added extra benefits, you can join my Patreon. The link is in the description, but please, if you join my Patreon, make sure you use the benefits. I don't want you guys joining the Patreon for you to not make use of it. Use the private Discord, it is there. You can get a critique on every single tattoo that you do. You can ask any question and get an in-depth answer. Use it, abuse it, it is there. If you have the more expensive tiers, again, you can get Zoom calls with me where we can go through in depth about your work. So guys, please do not sign up to Patreon if you are not going to use the benefits. I don't want you just giving me money for nothing. I need to earn that money and I need to earn it by helping you guys. But guys, I will see you all in the next video. Peace out, muchest love. So I'll do the click. Oh my God, I shouldn't. Yeah, let's do the click. That's how unoriginal I've become. <laughs>